if you go on your phone, uh, Calvin, let's just pick on you. If you have your landing page handy. Yep. Um, you see it's got uh, school admissible and then national suicide prevention hotline. Yeah. Um, just tap on that and then hold your phone up so we can see what happens. It goes straight to the, ah, let me get behind it. There you it go. goes straight to the number. Right. So just to recap, if you were um, anywhere else in North America, you'd have the tiny little fine print that says your number is this, and you would have to read your card and type it into the phone. And that's ridiculous. When you've got digital ID, you tap it, the phone call is ready to go. Um, under teacher tools, um, we've just shown uh, entrance scanning. We might get to attendance later on. Um, student tools, the kind of things that they can do, uh, give attendance, going into a shop. It might be a campus bookstore or maybe mom can buy a replacement card if the kid loses the physical one. This is an interesting one for the studios that are listening to this. Um, you can have a personalized URL per kid that goes deep into your storefront. We would take that as just part of the CSV that is imported. And um, when Calvin looks at his landing page, he will see Calvin's entry in the storefront if you've set it up. And it just works. Um, Calvin, do you want to Hey, before we go any further, I, I, and I don't want to take away from that storefront, because as photographers, we want to sell the pictures. We want to make it easy to go look at the pictures. Right. The pictures. But before we go any further, we show the suicide <coughs> prevention. I know a lot of our schools, when we're showing this, they're seeing the other medical links, the other service links that the CDCs are requiring the schools to offer the students. So there may be some other medical facilities, other mental health care, some side suicide preventions. All those links can be customized by the school. And so now we have the mental health department of the school saying, man, you solved my problem. How are we getting these links to everybody in a place where they have them, which is on their phone, in their face, all the time? Powerful, powerful, powerful. I have a question. So the store, so let's say for a high school, a student wants to buy um, a ticket to the senior ball. Could that, the school then add that? So that way? Absolutely anything they want. I just cooked up a new um, external link. Uh, I just created this one on the fly right now. And so if I hit save and you guys look at your Phones, you'll see it just got updated. You might have to refresh it. But. So that's so, also good for contact tickets because there's school plays and there's uh, football games and those tickets are, are going to be contacts. So this then allows them to do kind of a ticketing situation as well. Yeah. It's well, that in ID Essentials it's but, and the event tracking, which is something to talk about later. Yeah, okay. but you, you know what, what, what we've just witnessed though and we need to be very focused on that. Remember I talked about being, we, we've all been talking about how do we get essential? How do we be a solution provider? This thing actually becomes, if they have this on their phone, it becomes the central clearinghouse for school information. In other words, you have a link to the school website. You have a link to the school, school sports schedule. You have a link. The school can plug that all in and it's automatically on everybody's phone. That's a huge posit positive in addition to the product that's here, that's a huge solution for schools to be able to give their students that. Congratulations. Oh, I'm thinking even further, like if I have a football player and I had to sign all those releases to allow them to play football, you could figure out whose kid didn't get the signed release to play football without a football coach having to sit there and sort through who didn't turn in their papers. Um, 